right, it's something that had drivers and police scratching their heads when they saw this drive up. That's a gun with a giant, or a man rather, with a giant power pole strapped to the hood of his car. Troopers arrested that man, and here to tell us why is eight on your side is Marco Villarreal, only in Florida, Marco. Only in Florida, Avery, and you know what? He got arrested because it wasn't his. It's as simple as that. And now he's waking up here at the Orient Jail, and you've got to take a look at these pictures. I mean, really, everybody was just as confused when they saw it. Take a look at this. Florida Highway Patrol saying. Douglas Hatley and a friend were driving down I-4 when they saw a downed power pole. They said, hey, you know what's a good idea? Let's strap that to the top of my red 1997 Toyota Camry. So that they got that long metal power pole up there. The 71-year-old then drove to a scrapyard on Harney Road and tried selling it. Not having the proper documentation, he was turned away. That's when troopers pulled him over. And in the dash cam video, you can hear Hatley question why he's sitting in the back of an FHP car in handcuffs. But there was no criminal intent whatsoever. It was totally well, when non you take a pole off the interstate that don't belong to you. That's well, look, I had no idea it was wrong. Does that belong to you? No, Obviously but it's you knew good it was for wrong scrap. You scrap yards take them. You told me some guy gave it to you in Plant City, so obviously you knew. Well, it was, was in Plant City. All right, so Hatley is now charged with grand theft, and this is not the first time he's been accused of similar crimes. One other thing that's not going to help out his case is that there was someone that actually watched him do this, and so he'll be uh, because of that waking up here and then facing a judge. Later today. For now, reporting live in Tampa, Marco Villarreal, eight on your side.